Hey, we're here with another video from stockforecasting.com here to show you more about the website and talk about a specific stock. This week we're going to do Google. So let's just log in. Once we do that, we're taken to the predict stock page and it's really easy to find what we're looking for from here. So let's type in Google. Click that. Alright, so once you search for the stock that you want to look at, it may give you basic information stuff you find, like old price, highs, closing prices, things like that. Um, what we really want to look at though is down here in the prediction pages. So let's do a 10 day prediction on Google. Short term. Do that, and there we go. The website produces a graph that lets us see how the stock has been doing, some trends. Um, you can look back here, you can see how the stock has actually been performing and how the website's been predicting will perform. And then over here is how stock forecasting predicts Google stock to be doing in the next few days. So we see like a slight rise and then starting to slope down over here, but you can look at it over a month, 10 days, for a really close zoom up, if you want to look at specifics of what's happening, you can go all the way up to a year, three years, and you can zoom out pretty far. You can also select the periods that you want to look at the stock for. Down here, we're given actual buy and hold strategies for the different days. So, we can see the prices that are predicted to open and close, the lows, the highs, general changes. If we were to look at the stock of July 12th, we're supposed to buy them, hold it for the next few days, sell it on the 15th, or just keep holding them for the future. If you're looking at more long-term investments, all you have to do is hit the long-term prediction button. You're given the same general information. The graph again for a longer period of time, and then the chart. Over here we can see that for each month, for the next six months, uh, the predicted strategy is to hold on to the stock and watch it appreciate. What's nice about the website, though, is aside from just these features, it can kind of become like your central headquarters for finding information about the stock. So, you click on headlines, we're given all the news that Google has been referenced in lately, um, from pretty major news sources. Financial blogs, too, if you want some more editorial advice, you can see which blogs have mentioned Google in the past few weeks and get more information on them that way. So, once again, another video from stockforecasting.com, here telling you about Google this week, and be back next week for another.